I'm Anil Kumar sharing with you a very important concept about relative velocity. Now this is a topic which we discuss in physics, kinematics and also mathematics. The equation here is, an airplane is heading in the bearing of 285 degrees with a resultant ground velocity of 250 kilometers per hour. The nose of the plane is pointing west with air speed of 275 kilometers per hour. Draw velocity diagram and find wind speed and direction. So let's uh, sketch the diagram. The velocity diagram really means we have to display the velocity, right? Now we are given the bearing angle of 285. So 285 from north, right? So that is how it is going to be. So this is uh, kind of let's say somewhere here right so that will be we are saying this is 285 degrees bearing so bearing is always measured from north right so so bearing angle of 285 means clockwise from north right so that is what it is this is north for us now, when we are representing information in the form of a velocity diagram, first thing is the, one of the thing is the angle, the other is the magnitude. The magnitude is, is 250. So let's take a scale and say, well, this is, this is 250 for us, right? So we are saying 250. Okay. So uh, kilometers per hour. Now, the nose of the plane is pointing west. Now, when we say result with resultant velocity, that means it is the, the resultant which we are representing. So, I'll write this as VR. Right. Now, the nose of the plane is pointing west with airspeed of 275 kilometers per hour, more than this. So, pointing west means, let's say, along this direction right so we'll say this right so that is 275 right so this becomes the the velocity of the plane which will be there when there is no wind so basically the plane is going in that direction that means wind must be blowing like this is that clear so that is the velocity of the wind. Is that clear to you? So the plane is trying to go in this direction, but actually goes in that direction. Do you see the idea? So from here, the plane is trying to move in this direction because the wind, it goes all along this path. So that becomes your resultant. Okay. So that is the scenario. So by default, the velocity of the plane is 275 and it's trying to go west. Now, we know this is 285. That means uh, this angle is how much? So we can find this angle by taking away 275, right? So we can take away 275, 270, sorry, from 285 to get this angle. So, which is uh, uh, 5 and 1, 15 degrees. So, we get this angle as 15 degrees. Is that clear to you, right? So, 270 plus 15 is 285. Now, in this diagram, we know two things. We know one arm of this triangle is a magnitude of 250. The other is a magnitude of 275. Included angle is 15 degrees. So we have side angle side. So we can apply the cosine law. Clear? So we can say that velocity of the wind square is basically 275 square plus 250 square minus 2 times 275 times 250 times cos of angle, which is 15 degrees. Clear? Let's use calculator, find this. So we have 275 square plus 250 square 
minus 2 times 275 times 250 times cos of 15 degrees. So we get 5310, right? So we get 5310, let's say 0 0.2. So the wind velocity will be square root of this. So we'll do uh, square root of our answer and we get a value which is uh, 72.87. So we get the wind velocity, magnitude of wind velocity, to be very frank, I should have written this as the magnitude. Is it clear? We are saying magnitude is 72.87 kilometers per hour. Now, we need to find the angle. So, let us say this angle here is alpha. So, let's find this angle alpha. Now, in this particular triangle, we know all the three sides. We can find alpha using sine law. So, we can say sine alpha over 250 equals to sine of 15 degrees over 72.87 correct so that gives you that sine alpha is equals to 250 over 72.87 times sine 15 degrees right okay let's calculate this so 250 divided by 72.87 times sine of 15 degrees is 0 0.88794. So alpha is sine inverse of all this, 0 0.88794, right? So let's find sine inverse of this. Shift sine inverse of our answer is what? 62.61. This is 6 degrees. So we get this angle alpha as 62.6 uh, degrees, right? 62.6 uh, degrees, correct? So we have both magnitude and direction. Now we should be actually writing the, the angle as a heading, right? So heading, you have to always give with north. So how much it is from the north? This is what you have to mention. Do you get the idea, right? So, so the heading, let's call this angle as theta, will be basically equal to 90 minus 62.6, correct? So let's do this. So we have 90 minus 62.6 equals to, in decimals, 27.4. Right? So, so this angle here is 27.4. Clear? Now we can write down our answer, which is, so that is the vector diagram as you can see. This is our vector diagram. Right? And the answer is that the magnitude of wind velocity is basically 72.9 kilometers per hour and heading at an angle of 0 0.27. So whenever you write bearing angles, there should be three places, right? So four degrees. Do you see that? So that is how you are going to answer this question. So I hope all the steps are absolutely clear. Feel free to write your comment, share your views and if you like and subscribe to my videos that would be great. Thanks for watching and all the best.